Hello, welcome back again, Angel. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, sir. Hello. How are you, teacher? I've been okay, thank, thank you. Uh, fine, teacher. Okay, excellent. Very good. Okay, let me see. We have only six. We have six now. Seven. We got seven.
Okay, we got A. Okay, um, let me see how many do we have, eight. Okay. Today, in order to start this class, uh, we are going to play a, a game. And I'm going to give you some uh, tips now in order that you get ready. I'm going to say a word in English, and you are going to uh, identify what is the last word of this word, the last letter of this word. And then you are going to start telling me another word uh, with the ending letter. For example, if I say happy, the next letter, the, the next word could be uh, yellow, for example. En español y a colores. Vamos a, a cuando ya iniciamos, ahorita les voy a dar ventaja. Eh, yo les voy a decir una palabra y esa palabra tienen que saber con qué letra termina. Ustedes, a quien yo mencione, deberá decirme una palabra que comience con la última letra de la palabra que voy a mencionar. ¿Se comprende? Sí. Yes. Oh, ok, ok, ok. Ok. Ahorita, take it easy. Just try to get... Uh, in your mind, all the vocabulary. I need to have at least 12 in order to start. Okay, let me see if you understood the exercise. Veamos si entendieron el ejercicio. I can say, for example, low. Okay, Cristina. Elephant. Ah, I got it. Okay, you got it. Okay, elephant. And continue, Angel. Angel. Table. Repeat again, please. Table. 
Okay. Could be till. But uh, well, you can you can use uh, for example, you can say uh, if she said elephant, you can say tiger. Okay. If I say Norma Carolina, continue. Fibra? Excuse me? Fibra? Fibra okay. teacher, no sé cómo se dice. Fibra. Yeah, yeah. Pero lo que tiene que tener en cuenta es la última letra de la palabra que se diga. Y con esa va a iniciar la suya. ¿Me comprende? Por ejemplo, si dije tiger, ¿cuál es la última letra? R. Ok, you are going to start a word with R. Um, roommate. Ah, ok. Es un ensayo para que se me vayan despertando. Okay, let me check up the attendance now, please. Um, let me see. Okay, Ana Cristina. Ana Cristina. Ana Cristina, it's not here. Ana del Carmen. Present teacher. Ah, it's there, it's there. Eh, Angel Narciso. Present. Okay. Cristina Stephanie. Present. Um, Fatima del Carmen. It's not here. Giovanni Alexander. Giovanni Alexander. Eh, Herson Manuel. Present. Juan Carlos. Present. Karen Yesenia. Karina Noemi. Present. Linda Ibet. Present, teacher. Eh, María Julia. Present. Marlene. Present. Okay. Eh, Nancy. Nancy. Here. Eh, Carolina. Carolina. Present teacher. Present. Okay, okay. Okay. Eh, Rafael Ernesto. Present teacher. Raquel Judith. Raquel Judith. Ah, yeah. Suleima Veronica. Suleima. Suleima Veronica. No, here, okay. Okay, hold on a second. I need to adjust something here. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm going to ask, uh, let me see. 
Okay, how we are going to do this game? Okay, you need to be really careful. And as soon as I say the word, you are going to raise your hand. You are going to click on in order to write your hand and you are going to say a word that start with the last letter of the word that I'm going to say. En español. Voy a decir una palabra y quien esté eh, listo va a levantar su manita y me va a decir otra palabra en inglés que comience con la última letra de la palabra que yo voy a mencionar. Ok, here we go. Mango. Orange. Ok, orange. Somebody else, somebody else? Ocean. No, 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 no. Ojo, 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 be careful, be careful. Orange. Uh -huh, the orange. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, orange. Somebody else? Uh, normally? I, element. Element, okay. Somebody else? Teacher. Okay, don't forget to raise your hand, please. Okay, teacher. Somebody else? Rainbow. Uh, Marlene. Me, teacher. Marlene, oh, Linda, you bet. Rose. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. I don't know who, 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 who talks first. No sé quién habló primero. No sé quién habló primero. Si Linda o... o, o. Linda, what do you say? Rainbow. Okay, rainbow. Okay, somebody else, please. Wolf. 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 Okay, now we are going to complicate a little bit. Uh, you are going to say the word, but at the same time, you are going to mention uh, a name of one of your classmates, please. In this case, Angel, you say word. Okay. Mention a name. The name of your classmate. De los que no han participado, don Ángel. Person. Person. Hi, teacher. Continue. I don't listen to the word. No? Don't listen to the word. Will ah, you, you repeat, Ángel? Wolf. What? Wolf. Are you? Say wolf. Okay, somebody else. Give a hand. Give a hand. Face. Face. Okay, face. Okay, excellent. Say a name. Say a name, please. Um, Christina. Okay, Christina. Eat. Okay. Tell me another name. Uh, Rafael. Rafael, Rafael. No lo entendí bien, teacher. Termine con it. ¿Con qué letra termina? It. Con S. Is. No, it. It. Sí. It. What is the ending? Okay, it's... somebody else? Okay. 
Tomorrow, teacher. Tomorrow. Start with letter T. Okay, in the last one. Julia or Fatima or Karina. Hold on, Marlene. Hold on, Marlene. Tomorrow. Work. Okay. Work. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you very much. Let us start talking about the topic for today. Here. Don't hold on a second, please. Something is happening here. I'm trying to put this. What's going on here? I don't know. Okay. Here we go. This is the class number six. Today, uh, we are going to talk about how to use simple present for schedule activities. And we are going to start with this question that you have it in your material. The question said, what is a regular day at, at your workplace like? That is the first one. And the second one, how busy are you? I need that you think about the answer that you are going to share with me and the rest of the class, please. If you have the answer, just let me know. What is a irregular? What is a regular day at your workplace like? Tell me. I want to hear you. Tell me, tell me. Only one, please, no more than one. Mm -hmm. Solo uno, por favor. Good night. Hello, Fatima. Hello. Okay. My regular day at work. I come to the office at seven o'clock. The, the first activity that I have to do is to read the email, check all the emails and answers to, to the customers. Um, at 8.30, I take the breakfast. After that, I have to, to update some reports and share with, with the different departments at the company. And at every day, uh, I have to... I have some issues that the production department report to to me, and that's all the common activity that I that I do in in, in the in my work. And I really like that. Okay, thank you. Somebody else want to share? Somebody else, please. Yeah. 
Hello. Chair. Tell me, Cristina. When activities are created, there is uh, no much moment. In my case, I read um, my work, I receive the report, uh, send the email, uh, made the the document, do the document. Only that. Okay, it's different. Every one of you have a different uh, situation in your job. And that is what we want to, to know. And that way you are going to uh, face the true, uh, I mean, you are going to look for the word, how to explain it. How is your uh, regular day in your job? Okay, somebody else, please. The last one. The last one, please. Tell me. What is a regular day? Teacher, uh, in my case, my case, I email saying send goods at the customer. This, eh, no sé si está bien si se dice visit customer o customer visit. Mm. Visito clientes. Ah, you. Yes. You visit. You visit. Okay. You visit some client. Okay. Client. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Let us continue then. Cause of the time is running. And, and the last question to how busy are you, your job? Well, sometimes not all the day are the same, you know, because sometimes we need to have a lot of scenes. We are uh, in the middle of all, a lot of papers. And sometimes uh, some they are easy. But let's see what's happened here. Okay, we have a conversation here between William and Orson. I'm going to read it and then you are going to practice. And at the same time, uh, you can, before to read uh, the conversation, I would like that you tell me, uh, what do you see in the picture? What can you tell me about the picture that we have? Tell me. Restaurant. Okay, but describe the picture. How many people are there? The picture. Gary Golash. There are eight. Ah, there are eight, eight people. Okay. Some of them, what they are doing? They are speaking. Okay. What else you can tell me?
Tell me more, please. Okay, the one that we have in front, they are shaking hands. One is wearing a green shirt, and the other one is wearing a black one. The black one is wearing glasses and so on. Okay, let us see the conversation. Okay, Will and, uh, and Orson. And he said, this, this kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday. She does a really good job. Indeed, but doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. Her head does. He takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the order after him? Yes, he does. Okay, read careful the conversation, please. I'm going to read it again. This kitchen looks great. It does. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesday. She does a really good job. Indeed. But doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. Her head does. He takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the order after him? Yes, he does. Okay. Volunteer who wants to read it before to go to break out the room and practice. Or I don't know if you have a question how to pronounce a word, just let me know, please. No question? Do you have a question? No? Hey, I need volunteer who wants to read it. In that teacher. Tell me, Christina. In that. In that. In that. Okay. Volunteer who wants to read it, please. Before to go to the breakout room. Hey, teacher. Okay, Anna, do it, Anna. This kitchen looks great. It does. Who is charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays. She does a really good job. In the bus, doesn't Jessica take order during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. Jorge does. He takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I read it. And how does after him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. After him. Okay, thank you. Somebody else want to read it? Hello. Me. Christina. Charlie this Christina. Kitchen, this kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in chain of clean? It. Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday. She does is a really good job. Indeed. But does Jessica take order during? The morning shift? No, she doesn't. Her, her he does. He take order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. I who does after him. Does his brother take 
the order as Yes, she does. He does. Yes, he does. Okay, uh, we need to be careful at the moment that we are pronouncing uh, the verb after the third singular person. He tastes. He tastes. Okay, somebody else, please. Somebody else. Me, teacher. Linda, do it. Yes, uh, this kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesday. She does a really good job. Indeed, but doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. George does. He takes order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. Okay, thank you. Here we go. We are going to practice with somebody else, please. Let me see, I got 14, it's gonna be seven here. I'm going to create the breakout rooms. Okay, no questions, right? Everything is clear. Yes, I can hear you, I can hear you. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Karen, what happened? At this moment, they are practicing the conversation. This time we are talking about the simple present. In a special activities.
Okay, here we go again. Let us practice the conversation, please. Linda. This kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the chicken from Mondays to Wednesdays. She does a really good job. Indeed, but doesn't Jessica take order during during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. George does. He takes order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Next, please. Juan Carlos. Ready. Hello. Okay. This kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesday. She does a really good job. Indeed. But doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. George does. He takes order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And go. Does after him? Does he brother takes the orders after him? Yes, he does. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, next, please. Hey, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Mm, this kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays. She does a really good job. And the, but doesn't Jessica take order during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. Or he does. He takes order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the other after him? Yes, he does. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Next. Me, teacher, and Karen. Okay, Nancy. Okay. <laughs> this kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays. She does a really good job. Good job. In, indeed. But doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. George does. He taking order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. Uh, who does after him? Does his brother take the order after him? Yes, he does. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Very welcome. Somebody else? Ana del Carmen. Well, okay, permit me. Ready. Okay. Inicio. Oh, okay. No, this, oh, kitchen, this kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleaned the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday. She does a really good job. In that, but does Jessica take order during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. Jorge does. He takes order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the order after him? Yes, he does. 
Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Let us continue. And now we have a three question and we are going to work in pairs and you are going to discuss and answer the following question. The number one say who cleans the kitchen from Monday to Wednesdays? What does Jorge do? And the third one say when does Jorge's brother takes orders? Okay, I'm going to give you some minutes in order that you can do it. When they go to breakout room, they have the opportunity to express and practice what they think about the, the questions. And I can say that is something really, really important for them. Okay, I'm going to mention three different names. The first one is going to answer question one, the second one is going to answer the second question and the third one is going to answer the third question, okay? Let me see who is going to be the fourth one. 
Rafael Ernesto, read the first question, please, and answer it. Okay. Who cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays? The, the answer is Jessica. Is. The answer is? Jessica. Something is missing, something is missing. Mariel, want to give a hand? Jessica Clint. Hmm. Clean Jessica. the kitchen. Jessica is? Jessica does. Ah, okay. Okay, second question. Second. It looks like somebody's trying to get into our class, but said that it is impossible to do it. I don't know why. Uno de sus compañeros está tratando de entrar a la clase, pero dice que le es imposible. Entonces no sé por qué podrá hacer eso. Es que da un mensaje extraño, pero yo lo que hago es de ponerle cancelar, cancelar y ya entra. ¿Y qué será lo que dice el mensaje? Como que le vuelve a pedir una como contraseña. De veras. Porque en el caso de los facilitadores, a nosotros solo nos dan el link de acceso. Uh -huh. Sí, pero aún cuando... Aún creo cuando pensar usted... de que a ustedes les dan lo mismo, solo les dan el link. No, no tenemos, tenemos un usuario y contraseña. Ah, ok. Ah, ok. Bueno, esperemos a ver qué sucede con la compañera. Ok, question number two. Somebody wants to answer this question? It takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Ok. And the third one? Somebody else? The third one, please. Uh, the answer is your brother takes the other after him. After him. After George. Okay. After your okay, let's go to the next activity. Okay, today we are going to study how to use simple present form schedule activities. Schedule activities. As you can see there, we are going to use the simple present for this kind of activities. For example, Matt serves at 2 p.m. Paul gets to work at 1 p.m. Andrea cleans the tables. 
from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. and Maria cooks from 7 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Okay, uh, I need that you take a look at the example and tell me what you see in common in the example, please. The, all the sentences use the simple process. Okay. Nice. But something else, something else, please. They also mention the specific time when they do the activity. Okay. What else? The is third person. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. That is the main point. All the example are using the third singular person. And we know that every time that we are going to use a third singular person, the main verb is going to suffer some inflection. Inflection could be that they add uh, the letter S and some of them they are going to add ES. And we need to keep in mind the rules in order to do it in the right way. And I, and I believe that you already are studying that, but we are going to make a, to remember it, you know? But let me see the time that we have now. Hold on a second, please. Okay, we have time. Okay, we have the rule here in order to talk about the simple present and spelling rule, S and ES ending. And the number one said that we are going to add S to most verb. For example, close, closed, dance, dance, exercise, exercise, feed, feeds, and so on. And the second one, add ES to verse, and then in CH, SH, CH, S, X, and Z. Like wash, washes, teach, teaches, and so on. And the number three say change Y to I and R E S to verse ending in a consonant plus Y. In this case, we have carry, copy, Copies, study, studies. Do you remember that? Yes? Yes. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's go then to the next one. Before to check out the, uh, the attendance. Okay. Okay. Let us try to do this exercise. What you are going to do here is that you are going to write each verb with the correct S or ES or IES ending. Try to do it in your notebook, please. You have a study, fish, pass, worry, explore, bite, bite, help, miss, fly, fix, watch, like, and pay. Okay, try to do it. Make a screenshot, please. Because I need I need that you are working on. I want a captura, por favor. Is that? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, try to do it now. Or if you want, we can solve it. Uh, and that way we can go further there. Okay, let me see. We can do it together if you want. Okay, what about the second one? Finish. 
It is fish. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Fishes. <laughs> yeah, no way. Fish. Fishes. Fishes. Really? Fishes. Really? 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 Are you sure? Yes. Okay, we can use it in both ways. We can use it like fish and like fishes, like you are saying. Okay, number three. Number three. Okay, let me check out the, the, the attendance now, please. Hold on a second, please. Let me see. Okay. Ana Cristina. Okay, ahí está. Pero no era usted la que no podía entrar, ¿o sí? Sí, me daba problemas, solo se quedaba y me volví a sacar, pero logré. ¿Y qué mensaje le aparece? No, nada, solo no me dejaba, como que patinaba en internet y de ahí me salía que le diera que no era un robot y volví a quedar, pero no me dejaba oh. ingresar. Okay. Ana del Carmen. Present. Ángel. Present, teacher. Cristina Stephanie. Present. Fátima del Carmen. Present. Ahí está Fátima. Um, Giovanni Alexander. Giovanni. Ahí. Harrison. Present. Juan Carlos. Present. Karen Yesenia. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Karina. Present. Linda. Present teacher. María Julia. Present. María. Present. Nancy. Present. Ahí está Nancy. Okay. Eh, Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Rafael Ernesto. I'm here. Raquel Judith. Raquel. Raquel. Suleima Verónica. Suleima. Suleima is not here, okay. Okie dokie, here we go again. Okay, you can uh, continue with the, with the word pass, I guess it is pass. Okay, somebody have it? Pass it. Okay, the next one, please. Morris? Yeah, what we are going to do there? We will we will change uh, the letters Y by I, and also we have to add 
have. We have to add I. Mm -hmm. Okay. The next one, please. Explores. Explores. Listen, the S sound. Explore, explores. 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 Okay, number six. You can take one for each. Bien pudieron haber tomado uno para cada uno. Y in that way you are going to participate. Okay, number six. Bites. Bites, okay. Uh, number seven. Number seven. Tell me. Seven. Nice. Nice, okay. Eight. Helps. He helps, okay, nine. Mrs. I miss. Mm -hmm. Ten. Ten, please. Flies. Flies. Eleven. Fixes. Fixes, okay. Twelve. Number twelve, please. What? Thirteen. Nice. And the last one, number 14. It is. Base. Okay. okay, what about this one? Do you remember it? When we talk about irregular pairs, we have do, go, and have. We have the subject, are you, we, you, and they. We have the verb do, go, and have. And for example, say I, I, I do the dishes every day. We go to work at 7 a.m. They had dinner at 6 a.m. And also at the right side, we have the third singular person. Right here, we, have, we said uh, he does the dishes every day. She goes to work at 7 a.m. It has dinner at 6 a.m. Okay, you need to have clear that when you are going to use one of these pairs in simple present, that means that you are going to ask the inflection ED to this one. We have uh, another explanation here. The pair do go and have are irregular for he, she, and it and singular subject. She goes home at 6 30. He has a meeting at 2 30. John does the laundry on Saturday night. Okay, we need to keep in mind this and write. Question, no? No question. Okay. Uh, what about this one? We are going to do it uh, with all of you. We are talking about Manuel and, and, and Lila Vega. In this case, we are using have. 
Manuel and Lila Vega have a busy lifestyle. Manuel is a doctor. He were at a hospital. He works at night. So he, what about this? Goes. Ah, he goes to work at 7 p.m. and comes home at 7 a.m. His wife, Lila, works at the bank. She goes. Goes. She goes to work at 8 a.m. and comes home at 6 p.m. They don't see each other a lot during the week. Manuel and Lila also have, have, have two children, Luis and Carla. Every morning they all have, have breakfast together at uh, 7.30. Then Luis and Carla go, go. go to school and Lila goes, go. goes, goes to work. Manuel does, does. does the dishes and then goes. goes to bed. Okay, Carla usually does. does. Does her homework at, at a friend's house in the afternoon, and Luis has a soccer practice. Manuel gets up at 4 p.m. at 6 p.m. He has, has dinner with Lila. Luis and Carla after dinner. He goes to work. Manuel and Lila have, have a busy schedule during the week, but okay. on weekends they relax. Okay, now is your turn that you are going to put in practice while being studying. Okay, next is number five. You are going to use the verb from the box to write sentences about you and people in your workplace. I'm going to show you this because you have it there in your material, but you need to see it here too. Okay, I need that you work on it, please. You are going to use the very form, the box to write sentences about you and people in your workplace. You have five, like word, open, arise, close, and go. You can talk about somebody else if you want in order that you can use a third singular person. So please do it now, and then we are going to share it. If you don't have the material, just make a screenshot now in order that you can have it and start writing sentences please okay here we go try to do it okay think think about it
Okay, let me see what you have. Remember that you have only just five words. Okay, let me see what do you have. Who wants to read the phone? teacher number one. Maria worked from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Could, could you repeat it, please? Maria worked from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay. Remember that uh, in this Time you are using a third singular person, Maria Wurz. Yeah, you need to add an, an S. Maria Wurz. I did, Maria oh, okay. Wurz. 
Okay, okay, but you but you need to pronounce it too. Okay. Okay, somebody else? So number one, please. Me is similar, teacher. Uh, Nicole works from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Okay, okay. Me is I work from home. Continue, please. La primera, I work from home. Okay, I work from home. Okay. Somebody else? Me, teacher. Uh, John works in a great place. Place. Okay. Me, teacher. No sé realmente qué es lo que le sucede a la plataforma. Tengo otra compañera de ustedes que está teniendo el mismo problema para ingresar. Algo está sucediendo. I don't know what happened, but it's happening. Okay, continue. Me teacher. Okay, Cristina. Sara, I write the word at 7 a.m. Sara. I write the words at 7 a.m. I write to work. The word at 7 a.m. Hmm. But remember that what I'm what I need is that you use uh, the verb as a main verb. In this case, uh it is it's not the main verb. It is a right, but no problem. Okay, somebody else, please. Okay, what about the second one? Me, teacher. Okay. My work my workplace opens at 9 a.m. Ah, okay. Okay, I guess that, that all of you finished, right? Uh, Linda, would you like to read the second one, please? The second one? Yes. My workplace opens at 9 a.m. Okay, that is the second one. And the third one? Uh, Mary, Mary arrives late every Monday. Mary arrives late, late every, every, Monday. every Monday. Okay. The full one? The bakery closes early okay. today. Okay, and the last one? On Wednesday, Mario goes to another branch of company. On Wednesday, Mario? On Wednesday, Mario goes to uh -huh. another branch of company. Okay, remember that you need to pronounce the sound, the end sound. Okay, thank you very much. Somebody else want to do it? Somebody else want to read it, please? Volunteers. Okay, uh, give me, let me see. Give me a name of uh, fruit. I need to give me a name of the fruit. Person. 
a teacher. Give me a name of a, a fruit. A fruit, orange. Okay, orange. It's not orange. Nancy? Yes, teacher. The same instruction for you. Voy ingresando, teacher, no sé. Ah, okay, okay. Um, let me see, Karen Yesenia. Karen Yesenia. Hi. Give me a name of a fruit. Apple. Okay, no, it's not apple. Uh, Norma. Strawberry. No, okay. Um, Fatima Portillo. Can you repeat the short instruction? I didn't get it. I need that you tell me a name of a fruit. Pineapple. Pineapple, no pineapple. Okay, Juan Carlos. Watermelon. Watermelon, no. Karina. Pear. Repeat again. Pear. I, I don't know how is the pronounce of pear. Ah, pear. 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 Julia. Julia. Hello. Give me a name of a, a fruit, please. Sorry, teacher, no escuché. Could you give me a name of a fruit? Cualquiera. Yes, just tell me a name of the fruit. Top apple. Somebody mentioned it. Alguien ya la dijo. Another one. Lemon? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> lemon, no lemon. Okay, so Lema. <laughs> so Lema. Disappear, disappear. Okay, again, I'm, I'm ready. Sorry, teacher. Al fin logré entrar banana. Okay, banana, no banana. Okay, Ángel, Ángel. Cherry. No, Cherry. Rafael. Rafael. I can hear you, Rafael. Está dormido, teacher. Yeah, something is not, it's not working. Okay, um, let me see. Karen, again. Strawberry. Karen, this is the second round. Strawberry. Repeat again. Strawberry. Or... Strawberry. Okay, remember that we can repeat or mention the one that they already mentioned. Ya no podemos repetir lo que ya se dijeron. Ok, no me Grape. Say grape. Grape, mango, coco. Ok, Marlene. Kiwi. Ok, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Banana. Say one, tell me one. Marlene. <laughs> grape. You say grape. I got grape in my hand here. Ok, read the sentences, please. 
Read your sentences. I like the grape. <laughs> you are the winner, okay? So read, read your sentences. I got it here. I'm not cheating you. But I got it here. No le estoy haciendo trampa. Aquí lo tenía escrito. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <read it. laughs> Hola. Alguien más me lo adivinó, dice. Okay, Marlene. Do it, do it, do it, do it, Marlene. And another another sentence. Um, no, 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 no. Well, you, you are the winner. Ah, okay. That, and then that means that you are going to read your sentence from one to five. La que me adivinó la palabra que tenía en mi mano es la que va a leer las oraciones. Ah, ok. <laughs> es que no sabía que, que había ganado. <laughs> ah. Ok. Um, the first is Nicole works from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Um, the company opens late. Carla arrives to work at 2 p.m. The employee closes the job early on vacation. And Nick goes at work once a week. Okay, thank you very much. Let me see, we are going to continue working with a different activity. And before the you perform, let me see here. Okay, I got it here. Okay, let us do this together, please. You are going to circle the curved form of the bird to complete each sentence. The one, number one is done, Dr. Muffet loves his job. Okay, I'm going to mention the name. Uh, let me see. Okay, uh, give me uh, a name, please, uh, Malden. Harrison. Okay, Harrison, could you uh, resolve the second one, please? He studies ant. Repeat again, please. He studies ant. Okay. Another name? Sí. Rafael. Okay. Rafael, number three, please. Rafa. Hello, Rafa. I guess that Rafael is having problems with his headphone. Could you mention another name, please, Harrison? Christina Stephanie. Okay. Christina Stephanie? Three. Yes. Um, Sales person sells product for com a company. Sales person sells product for a company, okay. Uh, mention the name, please. Um, Norma. Norma, are you there? Yes. Uh, you and Anita worked on weekend. Okay. Another name, please. Um, Linda. Uh, nurses. Nurses help people. Name? Um, uh, Narciso. Okay. Uh, we write the science books. We write science books, science books. Name? Uh, Norma? Okay. Um, we we no. Our office closes at seven p.m. Our office closes at seven p.m. Name, please. Um, 
Juan Carlos. She takes class at the business school. In English. Repeat again. Uh, Nancy. No, no, no. Re read it again, please. Uh, she takes. Naive, Okay, Juan Carlos, read it. Read it, please. Uh, she takes classes at the business school. Okay, she takes classes at the business school. Okay, number nine, please. Somebody else? Another name, please. Number nine. Well, don't you want to do it, please? You work to work every day. You walk to work every day. And the last one? I start work at 8 a.m. every morning. Okay. Okay, now you are going to get in pairs and you are going to create a conversation. Well, let me see what, what, what you are going to do. It's gonna be better. Okay, you are going to talk with uh, your classmate and then you are going to report his or her information. How? For example, if I talk with Linda and Linda tell me that uh, she gets up at five o'clock. I'm going to say that. At the moment that I'm going to share the information, I'm going to say, okay, I was talking with Linda and she tells that and she tells that she gets up. Do you understand how we are going to do it? No? Okay, en español, van a hablar con su compañero que les corresponda, que les va a contar cómo es su día normal de trabajo y luego al momento de hacer, de compartir la información, ustedes me van a hablar de la persona con la que estuvieron conversando, pero van a hacer uso de los verbos en tercera persona para que van a estar hablando de él o de ella. ¿Se comprende? Yes. Ajá, uh -huh, ok. Let us do it now, please. Here we go. I'm going to recreate. 16 is going to be 8. Here we go.
Okay, I know maybe the time is not enough, but at least right now you have some ideas. What you, can do, what you can do now is that you can write down the information and then I'm going to give you a, another breakout room in order that you can finish, okay? Somebody wants to say something? Somebody say teacher? I don't know, who is it? For example, if I talk with Rafael, I can say, okay, Rafael works from Monday to Friday. Eight hours a day. He teacher. goes to his job. Okay, tell me. Yo con la compañera no terminamos la tarea. Yo solo lo que he anotado yo. Yes, that that is what I'm saying. Eso es lo que les estoy diciendo que ahorita para que no se les escape la información que lograron obtener que lo escriban ya de una vez cómo lo van a leer. O cómo lo van a decir. Okay. And then I'm going to give you another breakout room in order that you can complete the information. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay, uh, let's go again. And then you are going to talk about it, okay? But try to do it. Here we go.
Okay, who wants to start? Hey, teacher, pero yo no alcancé a terminar a describir a Fátima, pero bueno, empiezo a start with the, with the information of Fátima. Okay. Fátima gets up at 7 a.m. She goes, she goes to work at 7 30 and she goes to the office at at your club. The first activity that Fatima does is read uh, the emails and she has breakfast at 8 30. He has lunch at the, at the 12 noon and she leaves work at 5 p.m. Okay, thank you. What about you, Fatima? Would you like to read the information of Harrison? I just take some information. And Harrison get up, get up at four o'clock. And he arrives to the office at 5.50. And when he arrives to the office, he goes, he goes to the plant. He goes to supervise the co-workers. And after that, he takes breakfast at 7 a.m. And later, he has to, to do a, meet, a meeting with the production department. OK, thank you. Okay, somebody else, please. Me, teacher. Nancy. Okay, Christian. Okay, bye. Nancy start her day, get up at 5 a.m., go the words at 6 a.m., leaves work at 4 p.m., uh, from uh, 6 uh, 5 and 6 p.m. goes to the gym. She received English class from 8 to uh, 10 p.m. And then goes the bed. She receives English classes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, Christina and Stephanie uh, get up at 4.30 a.m. She left at I am to work because the hours are 10 at 4.30 p.m. Then she returned 
call at 6 p.m. Prepare everything for the next day, day and diner. Uh, then connect it to English class at 9 p.m. 18 p.m. at 9 p.m. and she falling asleep at 9. Okay. Thank you. Okay, at the beginning you say uh, she gets up, gets up. Gets, she gets, gets up. Gets up. Okay. Remember that you are using an S so after gets. That gets she up. Gets in okay. my case, when I say I get up, it's different. I get up. She gets up. She gets up. Ah, okay. Okay, thank you. Somebody else, please. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Somebody else. Somebody else, please. Please, 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 please. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Hello, hello, hello. Me teacher. Okay, Juan Carlos. Karina's regular days. Uh, she uh, start working at 1 p.m. She checks accounting, accounting books. She uh, controls Inventory input or on in, in, on outputs. Uh, she goes to the bank. Uh, she finished work at six. Sorry, PM. Okay. Um, he arrives at 7.40, he takes breakfast at 10 a.m., he starts work at 8 a.m., um, he checks email and prepares financial report, he takes lunch at 12 p.m., and he, fi he finishes work at 5 p.m. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Somebody else, please. The last pair, please. No volunteers. Okay. Anna, tell me a color, please. Need it turn. Orange. Okay, okay, thank you, Cristina. Anna, tell me a color, please. Uh, red. Okay, uh, Angel. Angel. Blue, blue teacher. Blue, Rafael. Dark blue. Dark blue. <laughs> Okay. Green, uh, green, teacher. Green. Linda. White. Okay. Uh, Julia Gomez. Julia.
Ok, tengo que preguntarle solo a los que no han participado. Please, somebody else want to say something? Tell me. Ya veo que no me adivinan los colores. Okay, most of the time uh, we are going to end up today. Let me see first uh, to check up the list. And at the same time, I need to be sure who is going to stay with me the last 10 minutes for today. Don't forget to practice and to show all the exercises that you have in the platform, please. Let me see who is going to be here with me today. I don't know if I told you. I guess that I told you, but. No. Let me see what I have it. Okay, today is the term for Linda Beth Marquez, the centeno. You are the one, Linda. Okay. Thank you. Go with the attendance now, let me see. I got it here. Okay, Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Okay, Ana del Carmen. Present teacher. Angel. Present. Christina Stephanie. Present. Fatima. Present. Giovanni. Giovanni Alexander. It's not here. Harrison. Present. Juan Carlos. Present. Karen Yesenia. Present teacher. Karina. Present. Linda Ivette. Present teacher, present. Maria Julia. Present. Marlene. Present. Nancy. Present. And Rafael. Present teacher. Raquel Judith. Raquel Judith. It's not here. Suleima Veronica. Suleima Veronica. No está. Bueno, me pareció que uh, no, pero sí se lo van a entrar. Y ahorita ya no está. No sé qué pasó ahí. Suleima. Suleima.
Okay, thank you. Uh, let me see. I want to be sure that all of you got. A mí teacher no me va a mencionar. Norma. Sí. Let me see. Let me see where is Norma Carolina. Sí. Yes. I, I check oh, it. Okay. Sí, Norma. Is there? Okay. Raquel is missing. I, I, I didn't hear. Okay, thank you. Good night. I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night. Bye bye, night. Bye -bye teacher. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye bye. See you later. Okay, Linda, I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. Uh, uh, about the topic that today, when we, teacher, cuando en las oraciones estas, nosotros para afirmar, el, el, cuando uno responde con yes, he does, digamos, es como para afirmar la acción que él está haciendo. Yes, he does. Cuando uno pregunta algo acerca de él, es que en el párrafo dice, por ejemplo, does his brother take the orders after him? Entonces nosotros venimos y contestamos, yes, he does. Yes. Es para uh, afirmar. Sí, esas se llaman uh, yes no questions. Generalmente cuando usamos un auxiliar como do o does, eh, la respuesta eh, la, la hacemos de esa forma. Sí. Haciendo, eh, haciendo uso del, 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 del auxiliar ese. Ay, perdón, teacher. Este, eh, es que me, me confundo un poquito. Yo me acuerdo haber visto en alguna otra clase con otro teacher ¿Sí? de que hablaba pero era poco, quizás utilizábamos el das. Ay, pero es que no me acuerdo bien, pero era como afirmando siempre algo, pero en una oración más, no es corto, no es yes, he does, o, o no sé, me estoy confundiendo, teacher, perdón. No me acuerdo haberla visto como en una afirmación utilizando el das, pero que no siempre se utilizaba, me acuerdo, pero para afirmar algo más, una, era más larga la oración, me acuerdo, pero yo me he confundido con eso, quizás. For example, mm. if I ask you a question, do you live in San Salvador? Yes, I am. No. Yes, I, yes, I do. I do, I do, I do. Yes, I do, or no, I don't. Ah, ok. But me confundo. That, it, yes, eh, ahí es una forma corta. Sí. Yes, I do or no, I don't. Because the question starts with, with the auxiliary do. Do you live in San Salvador? Ah, sí, 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 sí. Ahí yes, está. I yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, I do or no, I don't. Por eso esas son las que se llaman yes, no question. En cambio, si hacemos uso de una palabra que sea WH word, question, esas ya serían eh, preguntas de información. Ya tenemos que dar una explicación. Ahí, sí, así, así es. Por eso me extraña que me dice de que, de que era algo más largo. Por ejemplo, y yo digo, why? And if I, I, if I ask you this question, why do you think? Estoy haciendo uso de tú ahí, pero ya antes, previamente, yo le estoy preguntando por qué piensa. Why do you think? Yeah, that your boss is not trusting in you. ¿Por qué usted cree o piensa que su jefe no está confiando en usted? And then the answer has to be, well, I believe that he doesn't believe in me because it is, you know? Mm -hmm. Sí, ya. Yeah. Viene la explicación, ¿verdad? Sí. Mm -hmm. Sí. Fíjese que eso sí lo entiendo, pero es que me confundí con eso otro, no, no recuerdo ni siquiera bien cómo era y, y 
y me estoy metiendo en eso y me confundo. <risa> la mente se ha quedado ahí. Bueno, lo que puede hacer es uh, búsquelo y si lo consigue eh, el día de mañana podemos verlo, porque el objetivo es que no se confunda ni, ni quede más confundida, ¿no? Sí, sí, teacher. ¿Verdad? Está, el, el lo objetivo. voy a tenerlo anotadito. Sí, el objetivo es ayudarle porque uh, ahora en este caso nosotros estamos usando el presente simple para actividades ya programadas. Ah, ok. Actividades programadas, así como por ejemplo cuando decían eh, Rafael entra a su trabajo a tales horas, eh, él sale a tales horas, eso ya está programado. La rutina, ¿verdad? Es, es como la rutina, correcto. Ok. Pero sí, así, sí. haciendo uso de los inflections que lleva cada verbo cuando se usa con terceras personas, con él, con ella y con it. Sí. Que los inflections son que agregan, algo, la mayoría agregan S y una buena parte agrega ES cuando terminan en SH, CH, X que son como los más generales. Y algunos cuando terminan en O, por ejemplo, go, goes. Y así. Tiche, perdón. Hoy en, en el listadito que usted dio de, de que nosotros le agregáramos la, la, la terminación, ajá, usted dijo fish. Ah, con esa, con, ese, eh, con esa palabra le voy a explicar algo. Esa palabra fish puede usarse sin agregarle la S. ¿En serio? Sí, pero también puede usarla haciéndolo con ES. Esos son como los uh, plurales, como los plurales uh, irregulares. Pero en ese caso, por ejemplo, si, 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 si lo va a usar eh, como pescar, ¿sí? Sí. En, entonces usted puede agregarle ES. Pero de lo contrario, si usted busca... El plural lo va, lo va a encontrar así. Esos son irregulares. Casi que no, 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 se, no se mencionan mucho. O sea que hay más palabras así. Hay más verbos así. Sí, son, son, por eso se llaman irregulares. Ah, sí, 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 sí. sí. Ah, ok. Sí. sí, me llamó la atención que dijo esa. Dijo usted. Sí, no, y, y está bien. Y después puede, como, como ahí escriba en el, en el, ahí en el motor de búsqueda que use, póngale el plural de fish y ahí le va a aparecer que puede en, en ambas formas. Ah, ok. Esa no me la sabía. <ríe> ah, ok. Excelente. Ok, I guess that. If, if you don't have another question, I would like, thank you to stay with me at this moment. And I hope to see you tomorrow. I don't know if you have another question. No, teacher. And try to look for the information in order to clarify. Okay. Why you are just... Um... I feel. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Thanks, you teacher. Bye. Good night. Adios. Good night. Bye-bye.